This is Fight Commentary Breakdowns. So this is Thomas Fan. You can call him Professor Thomas Fan now because he's a black belt. But he went to Hong Kong in 2002 as a purple belt. And this is around 2006, 2005, 2007. And this is him taking on a JKD Taekwondo guy. I Probably Taekwondo concerning his body pad, but apparently the guy had JKD training too. So this is the first time many people in Hong Kong saw jiu-jitsu in action. So... Thomas Fan is the one in the white shorts, and his opponent is the one with the... Oh, Thomas Fan going for the takedown, succeeds in getting the takedown, passes the guard, goes for an armbar. That is it, man. Quick and efficient. Look at that. Look at the speed of that. Single leg takedown with the trip, passes the side control, then goes to full mount. Goes directly to a standard armbar. So that was round one. They decided also to go a second round. This is the same. I think it's the same guy. Let me just make sure. I'm not mistaken. It's the same guy. So this is round two. Again, JKD Taekwondo guy. I think Thomas Fan's a little bigger. Is he going to go for the same exact thing? So now they're clinched up. Thomas is going to take him down. Yep. Boom. Get side control. Setting himself up for an armbar. Let's see. Let's see what he's doing now. He might take the back. What do you guys think? Yep, he's taking the back. Ah, look at that. Oh. Not even a real, like, the choke wasn't even sunk in. It's just a crank. So, it's pretty interesting. Um, standard thing that many people do, right, when they get taken down and they turn and then they give their arm here. I thought Thomas was going to try to peel this arm off and then go for some kind of submission of the opponent's left arm. But instead, he elected to take the back, which, you know, right? You get the hook in and, yeah, see? Just slide the hand off. You see that? He got the hand off. That was a great, you know, don't force it, right? I love that part. Let's see that again. Look at that. Just gets the hand off. Super easy. No crank. No muscling. Just natural. So, then he takes the back, and then does a rear naked choke. Not even a rear naked choke. Let's just call this a rear naked crank. He doesn't really, like, he's not even, whatever. So now, round three, man. Good on the TKD, JKDE guy for going for, oh, again. He's kind of learned, the, the traditional martial artist, the non-jujitsu guy's kind of learned that his hips... Need to not be controlled. Oh, but Thomas got him. Thomas got his back again. Uh-oh. It's a rear naked choke. It's a rear naked choke. It's a rear naked choke. All he has to do is flatten him, return him. Okay, he got him. He's he look at he bridged, right? He, he kind of the, the the JKD guy kind of maybe someone taught him or maybe just by instinct. Thomas is getting the arm bar now. Well, Thomas was gonna get the arm bar, but I think this guy stopped. Thomas's um jujitsu place is called uh, Kailin Jiu Jitsu Ziling is the Mandarin word. Kailin, um, I assume is how you say it in, in Cantonese. Kailin Brazilian, Kailin Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And so, Ziling, right? Kailin, Kailin. So, Ziling, um, there's the Long, the Dragon, and the Phoenix, the Feng Huang, the Shi, that's the Lion, and then there's something called the Pi Xiu. Or Pio. Pio is a uh, kind of like a uh, for money. Like that's the guardian for money. And Ziling kind of looks like a giraffe a little bit. But anyway, so this is Thomas, Professor Thomas's jiu-jitsu place in Hong Kong, and he's been there since 2002 when he was a purple belt. He's been a black belt for a while. But look at that. He established Ziling Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in 2006. So a lot of you wanted us to look at sort of some of the first jiu-jitsu matches, first kind of style on style matches, middle kingdom as they say. So here we go. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want an interview with Thomas, please let us know. All right guys, fight commentary breakdown out. Do, 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 do.